Technology should work for you no matter what, and Windows 11 gets that. Packed with great accessibility tools, it's here to make your life easier, no matter how you click, swipe, or speak. There's so many accessibility features I could share, but let's just dive into my top five today. Titles! So, I'm gonna start with something a bit more personal for me. And if you weren't aware, I am partially deaf and I use a bone anchored hearing aid or Baja for short. To get the best audio experience for me though on a PC, I usually wear headphones on calls or when reviewing video content. But that can sometimes cause me pain or worst case scenario, I leave the house without them. This is where live captions can really save my bacon. Live captions transcribes audio in real time on any Windows 11 PC, creating captions for videos, podcasts, or even calls directly on my screen. This is perfect for anyone who, like me, is hard of hearing, or is maybe working in a noisy environment, or maybe anyone who just prefers reading subtitles than listening to people's voices. And here's where Copilot Plus PCs take it up a notch and that's Live Translate. Live Translate in live captions bridges language barriers in real time. Imagine attending a meeting in another language or watching a foreign film. Then Live Translate can provide captions translated into English or Chinese instantly without having to select which language is being spoken. This is so handy in a scenario where maybe you've got several languages being spoken at the same time, like a global Teams call, as you're not having to constantly switch translation languages all of the time. It does it automatically. Nice. If you've ever wanted or needed to interact with your PC only with the power of your voice, then voice access is the feature for you. Voice access lets you control your PC and type what you need to just by using your voice. No internet needed. You can open apps, switch between them, browse the web, and even handle emails all hands-free. When you first open voice access in the accessibility settings, the voice access guide will appear and will give you prompts to help you learn and practice all of the voice access commands you need to get comfortable with using this feature. Voice access on Snapdragon powered Copilot Plus PCs just got a lot smarter too and easier to use. Instead of sticking to exact phrasing for commands like having to say open edge to launch the browser, you can now be more flexible. For example, you could say, can you open edge or switch to Microsoft edge and voice access will still get what you mean and follow through. It's all about making things more natural. Plus, if voice access doesn't quite understand your command, it will suggest better options in real time based on what you are trying to say. No more headaches trying to phrase things perfectly. Just speak the way you normally would and you'll get there. Now let's talk about sticky keys. One of those features that's been quietly hanging around in Windows for years. You've probably seen it pop up if you've ever hammered the shift key a few too many times in a row. I know I've done it. But it's not just some random notification. It's actually a game changer for accessibility. Sticky Keys is perfect for situations where holding down multiple keys at the same time, like Control, Alt and Delete, isn't easy or even possible. Instead of pressing keys simultaneously, Sticky Keys lets you press them one at a time, like so. It's a simple tweak, but it makes complex shortcuts way more manageable. And this can be incredibly helpful for anybody with limited mobility or motor impairments or maybe just someone who currently has their hands full. I know that happens to me a lot. Now let's dive into Narrator, a built-in screen reader that's been thoughtfully designed for people who are blind or visually impaired. Screen readers are an essential tool for navigating the digital world, providing audio cues that allow the user to interact with everything from websites to documents and apps. They break down barriers, enabling people to access information, communicate and work independently in a way that might otherwise be impossible. Narrator in Windows 11 takes this even further with features that make the experience more intuitive and empowering. One of the standout improvements in Narrator is the introduction of natural voices. 
Gone are the days of robotic monotone screen readers. These natural voices sound incredibly lifelike and conversational, making it easier to follow along whether you're reading emails, documents, or browsing the web. Plus, these voices are faster to process and load. So you get a smooth, seamless reading without any interruptions. Here's why this is such a game changer. For anyone who relies on a screen reader for daily tasks, having a voice that feels more natural and less mechanical can greatly improve comprehension and reduce fatigue. It's especially helpful during longer sessions like reading through work documents or navigating complex websites. To find all four of these features and more, it's super easy. Just hit the Windows key and U on your keyboard to bring up every single accessibility setting on your device. And it's even separated nicely into visual, auditory, and interaction settings, so you can quickly find what you need. And if you want something even quicker, head to Quick Settings down here by clicking on the battery icon or hitting Windows and A, and then click Accessibility to quickly toggle on and off a handful of settings. But wait, I've not covered feature number five yet. Well, that's because we're thinking outside the box for point number five and heading outside the traditional accessibility settings and into Copilot. AI is a wonderful tool for many reasons, but did you know it can also be a huge help for accessibility, especially neurodiversity? For example, Copilot could help someone with ADHD break down large tasks into smaller, more achievable steps, or suggest time management techniques to keep them on track. Maybe if you're autistic and you want help with breaking down social scenarios, you could even upload a screenshot of a recent text conversation you're unsure of and have Copilot analyze the tone of the conversation and suggest how to appropriately respond. And maybe, Dyslexia. If you are dyslexic, Copilot can summarize and proofread text or transform text into an easier to read format like using clear layouts, short sentences, and straightforward language. This is just a very small handful of ways that Copilot can be used for accessibility. And the easiest way to find out what Copilot could do to meet your specific needs is just ask it. As you can see, accessibility is at the heart of Windows 11, whether it's sticky keys simplifying key combinations, or Narrator offering lifelike voices for easier understanding, or even Copilot expanding the possibilities of AI for the neurodiverse user. Microsoft has truly made strides in ensuring technology is inclusive and empowering for everyone to achieve more. Did we miss an accessibility feature that you use in Windows 11? Or do you have a question about available features? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. That's it from me. You've been watching Microsoft Expert Zone UK and I. I've been Matt, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Oh, peace.